In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to use the RGB Parade feature in Adobe Premiere for color toning and improving the digital video. RGB Parade is basically a graphical solution within Adobe Premiere for enhancing the color of a video. All the three color channels in a video, that is red, green, and blue, can be viewed and dealt with separately with this feature. This enables you to do very accurate color correction. For this tutorial, we will be working with this clip over here. Notice that the colors of the hot air balloon are vibrant at blue, red, yellow, and orange, but still the footage is quite dull and the surrounding seems a bit blurred. So let's get started with shaping up this footage. First of all, let's move to the reference monitor section and click on this icon over here with the three horizontal lines and a downward facing arrow. Once the menu opens up, we will click on the RGB parade option. With that done, you will see a graph showing each color channel separately. In this case, blue has the largest value, while green and red are comparatively used less. Note that the reference window is showing the value of the current scene appearing on the program monitor above. As we move the clip forward, the graph changes its value in real time according to the current scene. To start with the color correction, let's move to the effect panel and type RGB. From the results, simply click on the color balance option under the image control section and drag it on the clip. With that done, let's move to the effect control panel and configure the color balance effect. Currently, the overall value of blue used in the clip exceeds all the rest of the channels. To make the colors crisper, we would have to increase the value of the red channel as well. For that, we will keep the value to 120. You can also see that the color intensity in both the scene as well as in the waveform changes accordingly. Next, we will keep a fine balance between the green and the blue channels. Therefore, for green, we will keep the value at 104, and for blue, we will keep the value at 116. These values will normalize the color gain according to each other. Next, we will apply another video effect with the name of RGB Curves from the effect menu on top. With that done, let's move to the effect control panel, where you will see four graphs. Here we will pull the RGB Master Graphs curve upwards in order to gain more from all three channels of colors. Next, we will bend the red and blue channel down for decreasing the gain in these two channels. To drag the whites down, we will drag the point for the green channel towards the upper right corner like so while for the rest of the channels, we're just adjusting the midtones. That's why the points are at the centers of the curves. Once done, let's apply the brightness and contrast effect from the color correction category and move to the effect control panel. Over here, we will set the contrast level to 17 and brightness to 10. You can keep checking the RGB parade window for keeping in check each of the three levels when editing the colors in the clip. Here's the original color of the clip before editing. And this is what we got after editing the colors a marked improvement in the tones and color gains. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.